Hello, I'm Bill Lampton. When I'm working as a communication coach for corporations or as a coach for individuals, one of the questions I'm often asked about communication is, how can I keep from engaging in gossip? Because I know that gossip can destroy reputations, it can destroy careers, and certainly it can decimate friendships. I give three quick recommendations. One recommendation is what we could call the indirect, subtle approach. And that would be to say, you know, before we get to that subject that you've just started, I want to know, did anybody see that fantastic football game this Saturday? Let's talk about that before we talk about anything else. I'd like you to know your reactions to it. You've made it clear that you do not want to pursue the gossip. Another approach would be one that is more direct and frank. That one would be to say, I just must say that I have to excuse myself from this conversation because I don't prefer to participate in negative comments about my colleagues. Now, once you have done that, it's unlikely that people are going to try to draw you into gossip anymore. A third way is to make corrective, constructive comments about the topic people are gossiping about. For example, oh my goodness, I'm surprised to hear you th say those things about Steve. My experiences with Steve have been so positive. He's a good team player. He's supportive. He's very open and friendly. We've, been share we've enjoyed sharing lunch together on a number of occasions. So any one of those three ways can work. Let's remember what Zig Ziglar, business advisor and very famous speaker said, that gossip demands one thing to continue, and that is a listener. So if you demonstrate in one of these three ways that you're not going to keep listening, then gossip will not include you. And I invite you to visit my blog where you will find many more recommendations about strengthening your communication. My blog, thecompletecommunicator.com. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for being with me. I'm Bill Lampton.